All right. I'm Steve. Smile. That's Chris. Peace, and and we're going to show you how to install the bellow floor stencils using the hinged method. So you're going to take a piece of masking tape and you're going to create a hinge. Oh, we should preface by saying make sure your floor is nice and clean. Okay, clean. So now we need to remove the backing. So he's going to peel it up and peeling straight back, not upwards. He's going to peel the backing paper off. Going very slowly in case he accidentally lifts some of the vinyl up that he can make a repair. He's going to put the paper aside. We'll need it later. And now this is the sticky part. He's going to peel that back over and using the included squeegee, he's going to transfer the stickiness down onto the concrete, working very slowly and evenly not to have any bubbles or creases. And once he's satisfied, he's going to remove the piece of hinge tape. And now he's going to remove the top transfer tape in the same manner that he did the backing tape. The top and go over it with the squeegee. Uh, what this does is if there's any little loose places, it'll help adhere it back to the surface. So now that that's down, we need to mask the area on the outside of the design where we do not want any overspray. So now that we're down or masked off, we can spray our color down. Um, you can use a WRC and an aerosol mister, or you can use, coming soon, our new Bellow floor stencil coloring. Spray. Okay, now that we've waited the appropriate amount of time, we can uh, remove our mask. As before, starting at a corner, you're going to peel up, although feel free to use upward force. Is that everything? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, let me get up here and give you the advanced aerial shot. And there we have it. A very intricate design installed very quickly.